I'm not gonna bring off Asuma uh, because I didn't see anything different from Amagi in her test version. So let's take a look at Champagne. First of all, this uh, 406 mil gun that is complete bullshit and complete fiction. So, pretty high alpha, phenomenal drag, by the way. Um, 222, that, that's close to some of the highest drag in the game, actually. I want to actually plot this out. Uh, or actually, it'll be in... I want to actually plot this out against the uh, American... Because that's going to be a crazy amount of drag. Or a crazy amount of pen if I'm reading this right. We'll do this. Uh, label. Now let me... Okay, so that is caliber 406. Muzzle velocity 850. Drag coefficient 222. The mass is 1085, which isn't very heavy. Props 2400. Okay. Shit. I just undid all that. 406. 850. 222. Mass is 10. Air drag. Or Krupp is 2400. Let's see the graphs. So. Champagne and the US 406. So Champagne and Iowa slash Missouri. Have the same pen at point blank range. After that though. Champagne takes a massive lead at all ranges. The 10 kilometer penetration difference is almost the full 100 millimeters, which is crazy. That's actually pretty massive. Actually, now I want to see against. Holy shit, you actually have more pen. You have more pen at almost all ranges than the American 18 inch gun. Holy shit. I wonder. You don't think. You don't think. Oh sh okay, that's not That's not that far behind. That is not that far behind Slava. Okay, lads. That's holy sh yikes. That really is not far behind Slava. Okay, I need to take a screenshot of this before. And drop that on the COTS Discord with a Monka S. <sighs> okay, that's pretty... Fuck! Just reset it, whatever. Play for fun. Wait, first of all, I wonder. Okay, so it's actually going to have more. It's going to have more pen at most ranges than the friggin' Republique. It's actually got better drag than Slava. And if it wasn't for the tiny difference in shell weight and crop, it might even have more pen. Oh yeah, because we haven't I haven't shown you the armor model. Uh that's gonna balance this, I think. Dude, champagne is more pen than the repu. Holy hell. I'll bring I'll bring Slava back up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it's going to be slower than Republic shells. Uh, Russia. Again, there is a big balancing factor. Better drag than Slava. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Battle cruiser dispersion. Holy hell, it's an identical graph. Oh, Ouija, what have you done? Oh, Ouija, what have you done? Oh, no. Oh, no. Stalingrad dispersion. Yeah. Better. Or, not, not better than Stalingrad, but it's a Stalingrad base curve. No, this is the tier 8 battleship champagne. It only has two triple turrets. In fact, I'll show you the 3D and armor model now. I mean, it is going to be the definition of a glass cannon, so... You know, you only get six guns. Six guns bad, Kappa. Six guns bad. You know, it's a mix. It, it's a gas can hull. But there's one thing to note about this version of the gas can hull. First of all, 25 millimeters. 25 millimeter balanced stern plating. Uh, midsection is 32... 32 um you know you have some 30 millimeter plating you get you do get french turtle back which is notable but uh here's the other thing here's your belt armor 240 millimeters 240 240 that is literally 65 millimeters less than iowa And that's with French turtle back. Yeah. Range on this, it's got 26 second reload. The gun angles are... Eh? Uh, but it has 25 kilometer range. Mediocre, but you have battle cruiser dispersion with insane shell speed. Y your your time to target to that 25 kilometer range is only 12 seconds. So. Yeah. I didn't take this in depth of a look. This is crazy. It's going to have battlecruiser dispersion too. So the shells are going to be very consistent. Like, hold on. I don't know about more consistent than... I'll need to bring up my... Chart with Slava versus battlecruiser. Okay, so... Battle Cruiser. Oh my Christ, it's more accurate than Slava out to. It's more accurate than Slava out to 18 kilometers. <laughs> oh no, Ouija. Oh, what are you doing? Oh no. <laughs> oh God. Oh boy, oh boy, 
oh boy, oh boy. Will the... I'm just hoping the horizontal dispersion is crazy. Oh, by the way, there's one thing I haven't mentioned about Champagne. It goes 34 knots with French speed boost. Or, oh, okay, it's regular 8% speed boost then. But it's still 34 knots. Okay. True. Okay. Wargaming, what the hell have you done? I mean, unless the Citadel is like... It wouldn't even matter if the Citadel's massive, though. With that much speed and engine power, you'll be able to juke shots all day. It's just their standard French Citadel with the standard Turtleback. Holy, Wargaming, what have you done?